Hey guys, here's a quick demo of the custom charging solution that we implemented for testing uh, 18650 cell type. This is how it looks so far. We assemble all the parts. We got it working properly. It has a small display which cycle through the cells and display their values. Under each cell we have a temperature sensor which touches direct, directly the cell. Not much to be seen uh, on the board but uh, I'll show you how it actually works in the software. For the software part this is how it looks. We have all the cells displayed on this window here. We have the calculator section. This is going to pull data from the database in order to help you calculate the cell banks. Inside the settings, you have the option right now to scan for um, available cell doctors. My IP range is You can also manually insert the IP address if you if you know it from the charger. For me it found this and I'm going to create a new project. Once you have the charger added to this drop down you can connect to it. Once it establishes connection you can now see the voltage and um, the capacity which was stored on the um, charger itself. You can control cells individually so if you want to start charging you can do on one cell at a time. You can measure capacity. The measuring capacity mode is going to check the voltage of the cell compared to the max charging voltage that you set in here and if um, the cell voltage is smaller then the max charge is going to charge the cell first uh, then measure the ESR and start discharging in order to measure capacity. You can also set manually discharge if you want to start measuring the capacity right away you get the ESR as well and uh, here you can see the discharge rate and the voltage alright so like I said you can control cells individually or you can perform operation on all the cells at the same time actually to discharge them so I can get some data inside the capacity to show you how the calculator works when it's starting discharging is going through uh, the ESR measurement that adds a delay into uh, starting into actually starting discharging this once that's completed you can see it it starts counting on the capacity depending on the amount of uh, amps which are being drawn from the cells and the time which, uh, which which the cell was discharging so now I can create a new batch when you have the project open and uh, you click on the new batch, it's going to create an unique ID from the first three letters of the project. Uh, the second thing is the charger ID. I will show you in a second inside the database, the charger ID. And then uh, the last part is the cell number. So once you created the batch, you can write it to the database will confirm that the cells were written. Now I can go ahead and use the 
the free software for the um, database browser in SQLite. You can see we have the cell save settings because this is a new database. There was no settings saved. But now if we refresh, you get the, um, the settings which got saved so next time you open the software, it will get the data from the data database, uh, the last used data. We have the cells added in here, the ESR, the capacity. If you don't change the unique IDs, you can keep writing to the database. That will update the data in here. And if you click on new batch, let's, let's say you change the cells, you performed a new test, and you have a new batch, unique IDs are being generated, and you can now write the database again. And now we have... 32 cells which can be loaded inside the calculator. Right here you can specify the minim minimum uh, capacity and maximum capacity for the batch that you want to create. Here you specify the number of um, cells in series and then parallel for your battery pack. And that will go through the database and try to calculate the best um, cells to, to be used together to have a, a low divergence and um, it will show you the unique IDs of those cells which you should combine together. Once you soldered all the cells and you want to get them um, to mark them as an available in the database so you don't load them again for uh, future uh, banks. You mark the cells as used. And uh, inside the database, I'm not deleting them at the moment. Uh, they are marked as uh, unavailable. In the future, we might uh, implement some uh, cleanup tools to, um, to delete the used cells and stuff like this but uh, I figure you might want to keep them for now to see the total uh, number of cells that you uh, tested in the past and stuff like this you also have the option to enable the cells or disable them this will uh, prevent the control all to be executed on the disabled cells and uh, also when you are going to write to the database is going to skip the, the cells which are not enabled. This will conclude the demo of the cell doctor. I hope you enjoy it and please keep watching the video presentation in order to find out what are the benefits you, you can get by using the software.